today we're going to talk about Alta Labs meshing. <clears throat> now, I've never been a fan of meshing, and I'm going to blame Unify for this. Because in the past, Unify put a sour taste in my mouth. In the past, I've set up Unify stuff for work, and their access points will just auto mesh. And when they do that, they create a loop in the network and take down the ports on their Unify switches. So now, anytime I set up a Unify setup, I turn off meshing. I was reading a document and I thought, hey, this Alta Lab stuff's cool. There's some stuff coming out and they're doing new cool things and firmwares are always changing. And I saw the word mesh and I kind of went, Ugh, I don't like mesh, but I'm going to try it. So I reached out to the support team and asked a bunch of questions. And I said, one of the things I don't like about meshing is because of that exact issue. And they said, ours doesn't do that. I was like, no, no. So I'm like, fine, I'm going to try it. So today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to uh, mesh this. It's literally plug it in out of the box. You might want to make sure that's updated firmware because it might have issues. But basically, you take it out of the box. And if it's in the same network as you already have some Alta Labs access points, it will automatically mesh. If it's plugged into the switch via power, it won't automatically mesh. So you'll want a... <clears throat> little PoE injector. You plug this into here with this and plug it in, it will auto mesh. I did it. And then I tested it. I set it all up, took it downstairs in my kitchen, which is second floor, or first floor of the house, I'm upstairs on the third floor, and uh, did some speed tests. Put my video in here for you guys to see that. But after that, I was very impressed. So then I thought to myself, I'm gonna bring it back upstairs here, and I'm gonna plug in the switch, which controls the access point, or powers access point, and I see what happens if it does a loop. Didn't. It went from the little green icon on the Wi-Fi connection to off. And I was very, very, very impressed. So then I played with it for the whole week, plugging it in, out, taking it out, plugging it in. Not a single issue at all. So today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to plug in this and adopt it, and then adopt the switch. And then I'm going to plug in my laptop, and I'm going to show you um, what it's like for speeds and stuff like that. Extremely easy. And uh, now I'm confident with Mesh, with the Ultalab stuff that it works very, very well. So, let's plug it in and see what happens. Plug in the switch, the access point. I'll show you my screen. On this screen, it should auto see this and auto adopt itself, mesh, connect, all that kind of stuff. And then we'll be able to add it. It's gone white. So we should see it here in a couple seconds. There it is. It's already done. It's kind of handshake, but you have to tell it, yes, you want a message. So we'll push setup. Soon, we should see the switch show up. There's the switch. We'll set up that one. They're both set up and connected just like that. Now, I'm going to disconnect from my Wi-Fi on my laptop and plug it in directly with Ethernet, and then we'll do a speed test, and I'll show you that. So let's turn off this. We'll plug in my laptop, which is the gray cable right here that's plugged into this switch. You'll see that I've got it plugged in now, maybe. <clears throat> We've got connection, we'll see this. If we click on the switch, we'll even see that I've got my laptop plugged into this port right here. Down here, we'll see this, and it shows the access point. Now, we can tell that it's meshing because right here on the screen, there's a little green icon right here that says connected it to AP, and then it's what it's connected to on here. Okay, now let's try a quick speed test. Oh, let's go fast.com. 610. Now, before you guys go say, oh, that's not that bad. 
in this room, I have four access points all broadcasting at full speed. When I took it downstairs, it was a lot better. So in this room, it is just brutal. I have three access points running right there, one in the hallway, and probably not gonna do so well. So I'm gonna plop a video in right here. All right, to test this, we're gonna show you that I am connected to Ethernet with a USB-C to Ethernet, plugged into the switch to a non-PoE port. The PoE port is the access point, and this is not the AP6 Pro, this is just the AP6. Plugged in, powered by the switch, which is then plugged into power. No, you cannot eat my banana, that's mine. But anyways, over here, and to prove to you that I'm not on Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi is turned off, and we are connected via this cable, which is meshed to the other access point upstairs on the second floor of my house. I'm down in the kitchen, as we can tell, because there's a banana, and we are getting 810 down and 690 up, meshed with an access point and their Alta Labs PoE switch, which is right there. Oh, and just for giggles, I plugged in my spare laptop we got here. Speed test, running through my gigabit adapter from my laptop to the switch, plugged in here. And uh, yeah, we still got really good speeds through this access point that's meshing over there. Yeah. Now that we saw the video of it working downstairs with my two laptops, this one and my MacBook doing speed test connected to the access point and just the, uh, the switch, I'm gonna show you what happens if we plug in this red cable right here, which is going to the switch right here. So if I plug this in, it's basically gonna show the access point there's another network. And then on the screen, it's gonna go from the little Wi-Fi icon to being connected. Watch this. Give it a couple seconds. This little icon right here will change, which means it won't be meshing anymore. There we go. It's now, it's now gone because it's meshing. If we go a speed test right now, we should get a full speed because it's directly connected to the internet. There we go. We got a full speed gigabit connection right to my internet connection. We could also take that off just so we could see. And it will auto mesh back. Now, as it's doing that, it takes a couple seconds, they created their own special five gigahertz backbone network to do this. So that way it is reliable. Now, you don't want to put this 2000 feet away from your house to do this, but if you have one or two in your house, maybe ethernet to the other part, like a TV downstairs, this would be perfect for that. This behind uh, a TV, with a switch, will give network connectivity down there. And as you can see in the video that I posted, that it's very, very fast. As you can see, we're now back connected with meshing. I'm online, it's working. I'm pretty confident that this is gonna be an awesome feature for people to start using once they know that it's there. If you have any questions or comments, let me know, happy to help. Um, I run this stuff in the house for the last year in my house, not a single issue, but now I'm gonna to try to put one of these downstairs of the TV and see how well that works. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, let me know and uh, we'll go from there. See you guys later.